Hi. As has just been said, my name is Elliot. I am from the UK. Um, uh, it's a pretty simple name. It's frankly a little bit of a boring one, but it's appropriate because I'm kind of all about simplicity. What I want, I mean, we've got Angostura bitters on every back bar and every decent bar in the world, and quite a few not so great ones. And, um, uh, and yet, like, we've got loads, loads of wonderful drinks, but some of them just aren't very approachable. So I want the drinks that are simple. I can go with that. And the first of them is called the Prodigal Punch. The idea was that I was sort of taking it, the punch back to where it might have started. I'm not talking about being authentic with it, but what I mean is that one day someone obviously picked up a mixing glass or whatever they used and decided to make something new, decided to make this, this punch. And they, they had a, a specific idea and they, just, they went somewhere with it. Whereas now it's so ubiquitous, so successful, that often I think we lose sight of that. So I tried to sort of reevaluate things and just come up with something new. Um, first thing I'm going to be using is Angostura 1919. Uh, I love the rum, uh, it's really smooth, really nice, uh, really heavy on vanilla, and I'm just going for a pretty simple 50 mils in each, so. <laughs> Lovely. And then from here, like one of, one of my favorite drinks is a, a drink that will remain nameless um, uh, and involves rum, often a white rum, lime juice, and grenadine. I think a fair few people know what it is. But uh, for me, like, we can, we can mess around with this, you know? Uh, so for me, I make my grenadine by having, like, sort of fresh pomegranate juice, uh, sugar, and vanilla. Now, we've got loads of that vanilla in the rum already, so I don't think we need that this time. Um, uh, we've got fresh pomegranate juice, and what I've decided to do is actually take that sugar from the grenadine and coat, like, the lime rinds with it, beat it, leave it overnight. It's really, really easy to do. And then in the morning, you'll find this, this wonderful syrup, this stuff which has inspired and intrigued us in 1732, in Fish House Punch. Uh, and that's oleosaccharin. And then we sort of add the lime cordial, well, the lime juice to that, and we have this cordial, um, which I'll be using about 10 mils of. Slightly longer pour, just because it's quite sort of high viscosity. And then I've got a little dash of fresh pomegranate juice in this ridiculous little pourer. Just gonna go in there, we're going for both drinks. And uh, because the lime cordial's added quite a lot of body to it, I can afford to add a lot of bitters and have some fun. So we're going for five dashes in each one. There we are. And one dash of orange bitters. Uh, as Salvatore will tell you, there are so many old school, brilliant uh, rum drinks which relied on an orange macerate, often in Cointreau or Curacao. And uh, this, this isn't so different in its conception. So I'm just going for one in each. And then finally, I'm actually, I'm going to serve this at room temperature. See, kind of the way I see things sometimes, you know, we've got all these particles in there, all moving at different speeds. And when we chill them, they slow down, and fewer of them will sort of breach the surface, and we can appreciate them as an aroma. And uh, vanillin, in particular, which is responsible for vanilla, is it's quite, it's sort of, it's got a high relative atomic mass. It's often quite hard to sort of perceive amongst other stronger aromas. And so what I've decided to do is just serve this drink at room temperature, just so that we can have that multi-sensory experience. And uh, for that reason, I'm also adding just a little bit of mineral water, because I do need to dilute it a little bit, otherwise, you know, the flavors are gonna be compact, and we're not really gonna get everything out of it. It's just a little dash for each one. And then from here, we're actually basically done as far as this one goes. I'm just going to give it a little stir with a tiki straw, obviously. Lovely. And then we can just straight up serve it. Um, you'll notice that these glasses are very, very robust, but what we're all really thinking is they're incredibly ugly. Uh, and I think there's a point to that. I mean, if we're going to be multi-sensory, we might as well maybe be auditory as well. And consider that this drink is, is called a punch, you know, it's, it's simple, it's bold. And I kind of wanted to have an appropriately ugly glass to go with that. And, uh, haven't got a board for it, haven't even got a napkin. I thought, seeing, Three as, minutes, I'm, Elliot. seeing as I'm British, I thought I might as well. Um, uh, and so that's that. It's also just going to have a light mint leaf in each. Not going to clap them. I don't want to break the aroma too much. Second drink is called Seagoat's Flip. And again, I'm using Angostura 1919. Sounds boring, but it is simply my favorite of the rums we have here. And uh, I didn't see any reason to change things. Label facing away, amateur error. Um, so I'll just throw that over there. I'm going for another cordial, and I'll explain why in two seconds. I'm going for 25 mils of this one in each one. This is the grapefruit and lemon cordial. There we are. And because it's called Seagull's Flip, it has got eggs in it. So it's got two whole eggs. So I'm just going to drop straight in. There we are.
And now, because I've got, I've Two got minutes, eggs Elliot. in here. Incredibly full-bodied, thank you. Um, I can afford to really, really go nuts on the bitters, which I am going to do. I'm going to go for 10 dashes in each. There we are. And thank you. Cool. And uh, so from here, I'm just going to give it a really, really good hard shake. Uh, I can dry shake it. A lot of people will tell you, will tell us, that the sheer quantity of sort of protein in the albumen, albumen will break down emulsions very fast anyway. So I'm just going to absolutely hammer the thing. Come on, he's the last contestant. Can you give him some noise? Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Ready? Cool. Fantastic. Cool. Just going to ditch my ice, get things strained in here. One minute. Thank you. And as I was saying before, I wanted things to be quite Multi-sensory, shall we say. So I want us to really sort of emphasize the aroma here. We've got not just vanilla, we've got these gentian flowers, lots of other flavors. So I thought nutmeg is kind of the obvious option for combining everything. Ooh. But then on top of that, seconds. just going to wake these little guys up. Got a couple of cardamom pods. Kind of crosses the line into getting a little bit more savory. I'm just going to put these right in the center of the drink, actually because I want you guys to smell them, but I don't want you guys to get them in the mouth and ruin the mouthfeel. And those are the Seagulls Flip. Thank you. Thank you, Elliot. Well done, Elliot. Last competitor, an absolutely great job. It's over. <laughs>